Okay, so we're in our camper and this is Grant. Say hi, Grant. Hello. And we are going to make a paper airplane today. So he folded it down the middle and see how he's folding it in a triangle at the top. Look at that nice crisp crease. Okay, what is this happening? What is that? I'm making a glider. So you put the point to the end of the paper over there. Okay. And you fold it the tip of this to the line. Tip to the line. You can do that. Okay. Okay. Good. Fold the whole thing in half. Press that crease really good, right? We've been traveling in our camper. We left Arizona about two weeks ago, and we've been traveling all through Arizona and Utah, Oregon, and. We're in California now. That is a really it's cool glider. Nice. And if you want to make it really cool, it thin. It helps it glide, and if you put it on the slanted, it acts as kind of like a thruster because it forces the air and compacts it. Because when this is going through like this, the air scoops it, but then it can't go back into its original form. So it has to compact and shoot out a little faster, which oh. helps it glide. Let's go check it out. This is a new design. It's called, I call it the Big Birdie. because The Big Birdie? And the last one was the Little Birdie? Yeah. Okay. This one is slightly bigger. So start it the same way. Yes, but instead of folding it all the way down, you only fold it so that this is tight, this is tight, and that is tight. So it's a little longer. Okay, so you have about two inches from the bottom right there. Yes, and then you do the same thing with the wings. So if you want to fold them a little closer to the bottom, a little narrower, so that it glides better. But not too close to the end or else this thing will come undone. What is that? What did you do there? This is the flap. Move it your keeps. fingers for me. Okay, so you didn't quite fold them to the corner. No, but and then um, that way you can fold the corner up. But if you don't have this, uh, then your airplane's not going to work because these flaps are just going to fly out and it's just going to oh, okay. unfold. Then you fold it into its shape. See, okay, and so that is holding that together there. That's cool. All right. What should I try? Fins or no fins? Oh, let's try fins. Did you do anything special right there to the tip? Or oh, you just folded it down? No, okay. just fold it down, but you need to make sure there's no crinkles right here. Or else it's not going to glide, it's going to crash. Like okay. Little Birdie. Crash little off Birdie crashed off the cliff. I think that's because the wind is not Flaps out. Oh, okay. wow. Okay, cool. That's way different. Yeah. All right, last design? Yes. Okay. What's this the... time we're going to taco it. Oh, so not... you're not folding it the other way. This is not the best design for an airplane. Oh. So. But. Well, what What's the best design in your opinion? does look pretty cool. does look pretty cool. Oh, so this is a cool looking one. Maybe not the farthest flying one. No, this is this airplane's more for looks. Okay. Well, looks are cool. It looks oh. more like a dart than. Yes. This. I call this one the flying heart because it looks like a heart when you're folding it. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. And then you fold it up. Fold it down. This looks a lot like the paper airplanes I always make. Yeah, except it's not. It's very different. Oh, These exactly. things back here can help it with its aerodynamics because oh, yeah. you can fold it up and down to help to adjust its steering. Okay. Also, it's more narrower and it's yeah. more slick. Okay, All let's right, go let's throw them. Okay, let's try it out. You ready? Yeah. I'm gonna try out the glider first. All right.
the arrow. The heart arrow. 